or what's money without happiness, or hard times without the people you love. Though I'm not sure what's about to happen next, I have to strengthen the Lord of above. Okay, we really don't know what the future holds for us, but it's your choice how you live your life. And after everything we've been through at Cross Creek, I know for a fact that each of us can accomplish whatever we set our minds to. You got the knowledge, you got the skills, you got the experience. Believe in yourselves. And congratulations, class of 2019. I'm sure there's hundreds, probably even thousands of college credits between the, um, the group of you and millions of dollars in scholarships, and none of that would have been possible if you didn't decide to commit to this process. Soak that in for a second. And I also want you to soak in the reality that you're not here by your efforts alone. It wasn't your sacrifice, your hard work, and your dedication that got you here alone. And so quickly, I want you to stand up and thank those people that gave everything for you to be here. Quick, get up, turn around, thank, thank them. Thank you. So, I'm gonna talk about four things. Living your life on purpose, learning from your mistakes, saying yes, more than you say no, within reason, we'll get into that, and seeing it through. It's so important for you to figure out who you are, who you want to be, what makes you happy. Those questions aren't gonna come easy and they're not gonna come fast. <clears throat> You may spend your entire life trying to answer those questions, but it's in those questions that you're gonna figure out what your life is supposed to be about. I don't think you put all this work in, did all of the, the classes, apparently did more work than your peers in the county to just get a job, right? 
you did this so you could have a life, a certain life with some options and uh, an experience that you wanted to create for yourself, right? And so you're going to figure that out by answering those simple questions. Who am I? What makes me happy? How am I going to impact? And how I want to move forward in this world. Work to answer each of those questions and you will live the life that you want to live. You will have meaning, you will have purpose, and you will discover your mission. Don't strive for a job. Don't strive to make money. Strive to figure out your mission and your purpose. The job will come, the money will come. Tons of it, it's, you can make money a million ways, especially now. But more importantly, you need to find out what makes you tick. So you can be a good person, a good brother, a good sister, a good husband, a good wife, a good contributor to this community. We have enough people in our society spreading hate, division, fear, and mediocrity. We need people who are in touch with themselves and know what makes them happy and know how, knows how to live a life through that joy and that passion. Does that make sense? The next thing I want you to do is learn from your mistakes. I make mistakes all the time, every day, and depending on who you ask, I learn from them too. That was a joke, you could have laughed. <laughs> there you go, it's good. So I'll say that again, and the next time you'll laugh, right? So I make mistakes every day, and depending on who you ask, I learn from them. <laughs> there we go, that's how that was supposed to go. So, <laughs> You have to become comfortable with um, making mistakes and failure. I don't want you to accept it. You need to be comfortable in that space. Because if you don't fail and you don't make mistakes, you will not grow. If you don't take risks, you won't experience anything amazing. You've worked really, really hard. You took a huge risk coming here. And the rewards are obvious, right? You weren't certain how this was going to end up, and you may not have been certain that you could even do it, but you took the chance anyway. Do not be afraid to make mistakes. Do not be afraid of failure. Approach them as lessons. That's how you're going to become the person that you want to be. That's how you're going to discover and reach your potential. Learning from your mistakes, embracing the failures, and trying not to make the same mistake twice. Well, let me be more realistic, three times. <laughs> you got it, good job, good job. Because I have notes that say, this is a joke, that's funny, and I'm trying to pause for you to laugh, and so I'm glad, I'm glad we're connected. So, within reason, the next thing I'm gonna talk about, within reason, I want you to say yes more than no. Now, parents, I'm not telling your students to go do anything stupid. Students, when you go do something stupid, don't tell your parents Dr. Mitchell told me to do it, right? I want you to say yes to experiences and opportunities. If there's an opportunity for you to go travel and study abroad, take it. If there's an opportunity for you to try a new type of food, take it. If there's an opportunity for you to learn about someone else's culture or experience something different, take it. It's those experiences that make your life amazing. One of the things that uh, my wife and I have done, uh, when we, before we moved here, I lived in Chicago. And we were walking on Lake Michigan, trying to enjoy the sunset, and we saw a group of people doing yoga. And I don't know if we stared at them too long or if they were trying to get people to join in as they walked by. But they saw us and they said, come, come do yoga with us, right? And initially I wanted to say no because I thought that was weird. Yeah, I'm walking, I didn't want to do yoga outside, I'm not even good at yoga, right? I didn't want to be a spectacle at that moment. But we did it, and it was beautiful. I've done sunset yoga on the lakefront, on Lake Michigan, in Chicago, and it was amazing. And then bats started to fly down, because for whatever reason, in that time of the year, 
these certain bugs came out and at the sunset, bats came to eat those bugs. And so I'm in downward dog and bats are flying <laughs> over our heads, right? But it was amazing, right? It was amazing. It was that one of that was that experience that I could laugh about. We laughed about it last night. And I always have a memory and I can always say that I've done something just random. And one more funny thing about saying yes more than no. Um, in the same city, I had a friend who uh, lived down the hall from us in this apartment building. And he was very into the uh, Renaissance culture and medieval times type stuff. And I, I also thought that was weird. And he invited us to this thing called the Renaissance Fair. And I don't know if you're familiar with the Renaissance Fair, but if you're not, you should look it up. And so um, he said, you should come, it'll be fun, and dress up. And he said this like it was a really small thing, and uh, it wasn't. So I Googled it, people wore all kinds of crazy costumes. They were dressed up as fairies and wizards and kings and queens and a, a variety of things, right? And I'm black, I don't know if you noticed. Um, and I wasn't sure what black people were doing in the Renaissance time. And um, I said, so what in the world are we going to be? And my wife is part Nigerian, and so uh, she's specific, specifically Yoruba. And so we came up with the idea she would be a Yoruba warrior princess, and I would be a Nigerian merchant. And we dressed in full Nigerian attire, and we went to this Renaissance Fair. One, it completely messed everybody up, because <laughs> not only did we not know what black people should do at this event, they didn't know either. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we were there in all of our you know, Nigerian glory, enjoying this event, and we got to explain bits of our culture and learn about other people's culture. And in that exchange, my life was made more interesting. So much so that I can tell you about it and it's funny, right? Say yes. yes. All of that, I didn't mean for you to literally say yes, but that hurts. So say yes more than no. Within reason, within the constraints of the law, and don't do anything stupid, right? So graduates say I won't do anything stupid. Thank you, you heard them say that. If they do something stupid, it's not my fault. Um, but say yes more than no. Experience life. Life is meant to be lived. And if you stay within your four walls and your, um, your box, you will be in that box forever, and you will be a very dull and uncultured and unexperienced person. There's so much diversity and culture and experiences out in this world for you to uh, go out and discover, and you should do so. I'm just a small town kid from Indiana, and I've lived all over the country, went to schools everywhere, worked in every part of the country, and I have friends all over the world. And I'm that much more, I'm better because of it. The last thing that I want you to do is very simple. I want you to commit. Success is not a straight line. Life isn't even. But you need to commit to the process of becoming the best person that you can be. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to fail. You're going to have some challenges. And you're going to have a lot of wins and a lot of successes on those journeys. But commit. It's in the commitment to the process of becoming the best person that you can be where you're going to experience a full and energized life. And I have a poem that uh, articulates it very well. It's too long for me to read all of it, so I'm just going to read a piece of it. It's called See It Through by Edgar Albert Guest. When you're up against the trouble, meet it squarely, face to face. Lift your chin, set your shoulders, plant your feet, and take a brace. When it's vain to try and dodge it, do the best that you can do. You may fail, but you might conquer. See it through. Commit. See it through. Find your passion. 
Live the best life that you can live. Life is not a race. It's not a spread. It's not a marathon. It's simply your life. That's it. Don't compare it to anyone else. Live your process. Commit to your process. And do the best that you can do. Learn from your mistakes and be happy. And if you can do those things, I guarantee that when you're in my space 20 years from graduation, you will be thrilled and excited with the life that you've led and the things that you've accomplished. Congratulations, class of 2019. Good evening, graduates and guests. As the graduates come forward, we remind you that the dignity of this occasion can best be observed by standing when your graduate's name is called and by congratulating all the graduates after the tassels have been turned. This will allow all families to hear the name of their graduate. Mariana Brielle Badillo. Latiana Alyssa Best. Henri Tyrell Brown. Shaquan Latif Brown. Jose Alfredo Colon Rivera. Hannah Nadine Cooper. Naya Nicole Cooper. Lauren Michaela Dejanay. Terea Michelle Dougal. Anaya Ariana Drake. Sierra Lene Dudley. Elizabeth Denise Edmonds. Gabriel Isaiah Etheridge. Janaea Alexis Fleming Smith. Xavier Sterling Floyd. Madison Lene Foy. Daniel Charles Galley. Securia Destiny Garrison. Tyrese Jashawn Gibbons. Christina Marlene Graham. Cameron Lee Hall. Tyler Anthony Harkness. Courtney Ariana Harris. Nicholas Matthew Heller. Jimmy Lewis Howard III. Navaria Sandia Jack. Deja Lachey Jackson. Okay. 
Anisha Anaya Michelle Johnson. Rishan Amar Johnson. Angel Raylene Jones. Mariah J. Julian. Raven Janae Kirk. Reagan Hannah Lee. Michael Jean Lee Flores. Or Tasha Yvonne Lewis. Shayla Kim Little. Ethan Alexander Macias. Frankie George Manglona Angel. Malia Daylin Mason. Leilani Roche Maynard. Dylan Ray McPeak. Ashira Takara McRae. Christine Nicole Melendez Gerard. Ryan John Valdez Mendoza. Onyx Gentile Odgers. Ron Peter Lawrence Pintac de Benagracia. Adriana Marie Prieto. Alex Tommy James Richardson Jr. Isaac Valentin Rios. David Santos III. Sydney Ann Smiley. Dimitri Jordan Smith. Zakia Smith. Shane David Spell. Naomi Janelle Stevens. Xiaomei Lee Top. Brian Jacob Thompson. Nikita Ryan Thompson. Kyrie Kenneth Turner. <coughs> Alea Casiera Vasquez. Anthony Williams, Kayla Nicole Wilson, Yushan Sia,
2019. It is my pleasure to announce that you have met the graduation requirements set forth by the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction and the Cumberland County Board of Education. You may turn your tassel. Woo!